Takia Beverly, charged with killing her 14-month-old stepdaughter, is now facing a capital murder charge. The retrial began Monday in Monroe County, Mississippi. When all the half-truths and full lies subside, whose side will you stand on when justice truly is for Jariah? January 2021, Takia Beverly found guilty of killing her own stepdaughter, Jariah Smith. She was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Months later, September 2021, a judge would overturn the conviction due to jury misconduct. Court records would show that the victim, Jariah's great uncle, was one of the jurors. He did not disclose this information during questioning. Day one of trial consisted of jury selection lasting over nine hours and selecting 12 jurors. Jariah's father, Morris, who was also charged with capital murder, was supposed to stand trial in 2021. However, he has still not gone to trial and there is no word on why that is. Day two of trial, District Attorney Daniela Shorter argues that Takiya wanted the perfect life and perfect marriage. And with Morris fathering Jariah, that got in the way. The defense is saying that they wanted to take care of Jariah and Takiya supported Morris. The defense is saying that Jariah just so happened to die in the Beverly's care and that Jariah was with at least 10 other people before the Beverly's picked her up. Tempers flared in the courtroom. The judge had to tell Dennis Sweet, Takia's attorney, to control his team. I stand with Kia had dozens of supporters inside the courtroom, as well as Deidreana's supporters. Deidreana Smith, Jariah's biological mother, was in court Tuesday. Day three of the trial was even more chaotic. Testimony had to be paused due to pool issues with the camera inside the courtroom. Investigators would later search the courtroom for any audio or listening devices. On day three, Takiya's lawyer would also ask for a mistrial. Denied. Two videos were watched of Takiya being questioned. One when she was a suspect and the other when she was not. Some discrepancies would come to the light as Takiya described two different outfits that Jariah wore on that night. Prosecutors say they still have up to 12 more witnesses that they plan on calling to the stand. Day four, Deidreana, Jariah's mother, takes the stand. She points out her 14-month-old received injuries while in the care of the Beverly's, a black eye and scrapes and scratches on her face. Deidreana stated they told her the injuries occurred while she was learning to walk. However, Deidreana said she had no issues with walking. She walked just fine. Prosecutors show a video of Jariah walking around with family members in a Vicksburg hospital. For more on this story and others, please go to my profile, click on this link, and subscribe to my YouTube at Crimes Among Us.